It's a little bit chaotic at the moment, and we've got a very good reason for it. We're about to shave some heads oh. up on stage here at uh, St. Pat's High School. So, I mean, I've got nerves for these guys. How are you feeling about getting your hair shaved off, Dave? <laughs> I do it absolutely every year, and I, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. No issue. Save money on shampoo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Um, I'm Mr. Craig, and I'm a French teacher at St. Pat's, and okay. I shave my hair every year as well. Okay. So I'm the only one nervous up here, and I think that's because I'm surrounded by a lot of uh, buzzers. But girls, you promise that none of those will be coming anywhere near my hair? No, no, absolutely okay. not. <laughs> and how do you feel about shaving your hair off? My side's shaved, so I'm not that nervous. <laughs> wow, confident girl, my goodness. Okay, here, so I'm the only one that's nervous up here. All right, allow me to introduce Dave Testa, a uh, teacher here at St. Pat's High School, but you're also a cancer survivor. I am, yes. What I, year were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed a year and a half ago with prostate cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, I just got a clean bill of health in September. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, how many years have you been to participating in the breakfast here at St. Pat's? Uh, well, this breakfast has been going on for 11 years, and I've been a teacher here for 10. And uh, I've gladly volunteered all 10 years. Uh, cancer does run in my family, so uh, it's been no issue whatsoever getting up at 4 a.m. every year to uh, <laughs> help donate or contribute to the cause. And has that changed what the breakfast means to you since you've gone through this personally? Uh, seen a lot of family go through it. Uh, it always meant a lot uh, anyways, but yeah, it definitely deepens the uh, personal, I guess, uh, touch in terms of having gone through it myself absolutely are you ready to, to lose your hair hopefully i end up with uh, a good hairstyle it's not looking good i've seen the choices so yeah. okay so <laughs> let's put a cape on uh, dave here now uh, dave what is the uh hair shaving game called this year uh, <laughs> It's a hair today, gone tomorrow? That's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how does it work? So as you can see up there on the screen, uh, just random hairstyles uh, get selected, and whatever you get is uh, what you get. Okay, wow. so uh, let's see what pops up, and that's what I'll give you. Um, Hairstyle. I believe that's uh, Terry's. Number six. Okay. Here's my hair. That's, that's what I'm going to give you, because we're running out of time, so. Oh, Okay, so I've got some uh, lovely students from Versailles here with some of the buzzers. May I borrow your buzzer, miss? Yes. Okay, so you're getting the skullet. Third year out of... Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Are we ready to give Mr. Tester the skullet? Yeah. Let's do this. Now I understand why we leave it to the professionals. Am I hurting you so far? Uh, it hurt a bit, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, caught another little snag there. Why did you gel your hair before you were getting it shaved off? I have an oddly shaped head too, that doesn't help. <laughs> What was that, sorry? One year I got this hairstyle and I completely forgot I went to Costco. <laughs> wow. Well, you were not going to want to go anywhere no. in public with this. All right, everybody, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, Are you happy? I have no words. <laughs> words cannot explain how happy he is. All right, we've got a number of other people to, uh, to shave. So, ladies, without further ado, shave away. A reminder that the breakfast will be running until 9 a.m. this morning. So if you'd like to come down and support the Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation, by all means, $10 will get you a lovely buffet of eggs, bacon, sausage, and pancakes.